Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Not to be thwarted by VLC's transcoding problems, I have uh, eliminated some of the variables. Namely, I was trying to transcode directly from the DVD that might have been slowing down the CPU. As well, uh, uh, uploads. I was busy uploading something. So I, the video, I did manage to transcode the video, but it had some spottiness that I didn't like. I'm on a fast computer. Uh, it's a dual core 2.8 gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM. It should be more than enough for transcoding. So let's go ahead and try it again. Uh, the new the VLC player is 1.1 uh, .1 and they have not updated the documents. So you have to kind of play it, figure it out, or watch this video. Uh, convert and save is what I used and I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to add the one I saved to my desktop. I, can't, I saved the whole DVD folder to the desktop. I called it test and it's in video TS and you're looking for the largest folder, uh, largest file and that's this one here. So I open that and there is no subtitles So convert, was it convert? Yes, it was convert. So I'm going to browse, I'm going to put it in uh, to admin, desktop, I'll call this um, one.mp4, save. And I'm going to go with an mp4 format Play the output. No, I don't want to do that because that's going to use up more CPU. Don't want to do that. Should probably turn off this background. That's chewing up a little bit of my CPU as well. Everything else in my sys tray is, you know, I'll exit everything that I don't need in my sys tray. Okay, that's all good. And now we start. And you can see it's starting streaming, and this is where I say, Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista.